Yo, what's up guys, it's Dan here from Custom Creations, bringing you our first giveaway on the channel. And this giveaway is for the intro that you have just seen. And that intro has been colour corrected and has had a few effects added on After Effects. So I suggest you use After Effects and Cinema 4D for this intro. Because if you don't use After Effects and just use Cinema 4D, you're going to have a pretty plain and boring intro on the line. So when you open up your Cinema 4D, you're going to have it like this. And what you need to do is you need to go to the first keyframe, so click on 0, and then change the text to what you want. And to change the text, you need to click on No Text, hold down Control, and click on Text 1, and then you simply just change it to the wrong. So I've got down. Now if you uh, drag along the timeline, you'll see that Dan is not in the middle. So what you need to do, you need to come up to and click the null object and then go onto the 80th keyframe and move Dan into the middle. And then now I'll show you what it looks like. And it's in the middle. So that's what you need to do. Just change the things into the middle. Now, if you want to change this text, because I'll admit it is quite boring, what you need to do is go to Mo Text, uh, then hold down Control and go Mo Text 1. And on the first keyframe again, go to Font and change your font. And it really is that simple. Then to render, you come to this button here. Just go to Save and choose a place to save it. And that's it for Cinema 4D. Now, in our if you do go in After Effects, you'll just have to add your own colour correction because I can't give you the After Effects file. It's not very good at making After Effects templates. So you will just have to make your own colour correction. It's not that hard. Uh, just use Magic Bullet Looks and it will add a lot better effect to it. So yeah, cheers for watching guys and hope you enjoyed the one.